Hello, Angel Baby. So I was doing a reading in the middle of it. Came out a whole separate reading, okay? I got theft, okay? So somebody stole something. I was picking up on this the last time. Somebody stole something, okay? We have despair here, okay? Somebody stole something and has them in despair and in poverty, okay? And we also have courthouse here. So this is a whole legal situation, all right? Now, in the reading before, it had came out that the truth was going to come out, okay? Because we have the Ace of Swords and the Star here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this reading that decided to pop out because it was kind of random. And it kind of alerted me. Like, it just made me feel like... I needed to dig in deeper. So, we have a thief that is in despair and about to go into poverty, okay? Or these people that got stolen from are in despair and in poverty now because there was a thief, okay? So, somebody stole something from somebody else and now they're facing legal action. for that to happen. I guess a lot is about to spill out of this reading. I just saw judgment. Actually, now we have a judgment at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is about to face a judgment and they know it's coming. It's in their very near future. It's happening. Okay, so it could be in paperwork right now. Yeah, we have a Queen of Wands here. So, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be facing a judgment right now. Yeah, we have the Four of Wands here. So, this faces, this is somebody's stability here on the line that they're in despair about. It's their very stability on the line. Okay, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, Page of Wands. So this, this um, poverty situation is coming in like real quick for this person, okay? It's coming in real quick. And we have the two of swords. So this person does not know what to do. So they are definitely in despair, okay? They don't know what to do. They're in despair. They have no options, okay? They're at like rock bottom right now. Okay, we have the Four of Swords. So this person is kind of like in a resting period right now or trying to rejuvenate themselves to get their mind off of the situation. We have the Ten of Wands, but they're extremely burdened. So this person can't even relax. This person can't even relax. I wouldn't be surprised if the Nine of Wands came out of here. This person can't relax at all. Okay, they're trying to stay strong even though they know that they're going to go into poverty. It's a strange card. Seven of Swords. They're trying to think of a way to be deceptive. They're still trying to think of a way to be deceptive. Are you kidding me? Still trying to think of a way to be deceptive towards you. The Hangman. So they think that they've came up with an idea to try and be deceptive towards you. Okay. In a way that won't land them in legal action. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. That's not going to happen, though. Yeah, Ten of Swords. The situation's not going to end just because they want it to end. Okay, Ten of Swords in the reverse. That's... Man. Knight of Cups. They have a small offer. Okay, so they're going to be trying to make you a small offer here, but it's deceptive with the Seven of Swords here. But they're going to try. They're going to try and come at you with an offer. Yeah, they're going to try and come at you with an offer. Maybe an offer of money. Like, if you do this for me, like, I can offer you this much amount of money. Or, you know, um, I have to do this first. But I have everything. They're going to be coming at you like they still have everything together. Like, they're not going down for something. Okay? 
they're gonna be trying to come at you like the king of pentacles yeah the chariot but this energy is going to be moving swiftly you're going to be moving out of that energy with this person you're going to be like uh-uh yeah four of cups you're not taking that offer you're not taking that offer at all we also have the wheel of fortune here so the wheel is in your favor not so much this person's favor okay you're not going to be taking the offer and that's what's going to put you at the positive side of this situation is because you are going to have seen through this person with something it is that they're offering you okay you're going to sense that it's not right and you're not going to take the offer yeah journey in the reverse you're not going to take that offer we also have toil and labor so it's not even toil and labor labor in the um reverse makes me think like That it's not even going to be hard for you to refuse this offer. Like, it's not even going to be hard for you to, like, move on with the chariot here from this offer that they have for you. Like, that's what I think is going to really mess this person up is because you're not even going to take the small offer that they have, even though you may not have much. You know? Yeah, that's what's going to change this person. And, like, they're going to come across as, like, a little confused because you didn't take the offer okay we have courtship here wow so this offer may not even come from them directly it could come from somebody around them yeah see i told you they want to offer you something we have gift here we also have pathway so there's going to be some type of pathway that they're going to want you to take but it's deceptive it's not real it's not good okay Yeah, we have girl with a snake, okay? Empath, narcissist, paradigm. And see, when I first pulled this out, you could definitely be dealing with an Aries because when I first did this video, an Aries popped out right where the Queen of Wands was, all right? And that kind of let me know, or I'm sorry, the Emperor popped out right where the Queen of Wands was, which stands for Zodiac Aries. And it was in the reverse, so that means that you're dealing with somebody with narcissistic tendencies, so it's not surprising that this would come out, though, for that pile. We also have healthy choices. Yeah, you're making a healthy choice and refusing this person, okay? You're refusing this person, and that's a healthy choice. You're taking care of yourself by saying no to this person and saying yes to yourself. Yeah, we have the relationship is over and we have breakup separation with X. So you're done with this person. Like this person knows that there's nothing that they can do. That there's n absolutely nothing that they can do. This person feels abandoned because you're not talking to them or vice versa. But yeah, I'm seeing this as just like this person needs to grow up okay and fess up to what they did okay this person stole something from you <clears throat> this person definitely stole something from you there's way too many cards anything else Yeah, we have mature man in occupation here. So this may be the person that it comes from, okay? Because remember when I said that this person may not make you this offer? So this offer may come from, like, I don't know, like their spouse because we did get courtship here. So this offer may come from their spouse, but it, it's still deceptive. It's still deceptive. There's still something about it that's not right, okay? There's something about it that's not right. And occupation, they're working hard. They're working hard to come up with something, okay? But that's what I have for you. I hope that that helped you. Um, you can reach me for personal readings with the info in the description box. But if not, I will see you next time. Bye, Angel Babies.